It's more fun to love it. It's more fun to learn. A wonderful art adventure day, everyone. Welcome to our first episode for the third quarter in Art Grade 7. I am Mom Pana Jeanette Kadai, your teacher today. In the first quarter, we discovered the different arts and crafts of Luzon. Meanwhile, for the second quarter, we explored the different arts and crafts of Mimaropa and Visayas group of islands. For this quarter, let us continue exploring the arts and crafts of the Philippines, particularly in Mindanao. Are you guys ready to explore? Let's go! Mindanao, referred to as the Land of the Promise, is the second largest and southernmost island in the Philippine archipelago. Mindanao also has the largest concentration of ethnolinguistic groups and culturally diverse islands. These groups are mostly Muslims from the Bajau, Iranon, Jamamapon, Kalagan, Kalibugan, Manobo, Maguindanao, Sama Bangingi, Sama Pangutaran, Samal, Sangil, Taosog, and Yakan groups. Other groups are the Lumads, or those who have maintained their indigenous beliefs and traditions instead of converting to Islam or Christianity. Some Lumad groups in Mindanao are the Bagobos and the Tivolis. Before Islam took hold on the Philippines, early Filipinos whispered nature and believed that plants and inanimate objects are home to ancestor spirits. They also believed that natural phenomena are caused by gods. This indigenous belief system is called animism. The conversion of the natives and the coming Muslim traders and merchants resulted in new forms of artistic expressions, the fusion of beliefs created a blend of spirituality and creativity. In this lesson, you will learn how animism and the Islamic religion fused together and produce a uniquely Filipino artistic tradition. The lesson is divided into four topics, namely traditional clothes, crafts, accessories, and body ornamentation. First, let's talk about the traditional clothes from the different indigenous people of Mindanao. The Bilaan or Blaan is an ethnolinguistic group that inhibits some parts of Cotabato, North Cotabato, and Dabao del Sur. Blaan is a combination of two words, Bila which means house and An which means people. They are known for embroidery, brass ornaments, beadwork that are integrated in their traditional clothing. The Blaan work clothes woven from abaca embellished with embroidery buttons and beads. The women wear heavy breast belts with numerous tiny belts that hang around their waistline. This produces pleasing chiming sounds when they move. They also cut mother of pearl into small shapes that look like sequins called taknom to form geometric patterns. The Blaans, like the Bagubos and the Tivolis, weave highly polished abaca textiles using the ikat process. Ikat is a process of dyeing the fabric where the yarns are tightly wrapped with strings and dyed before weaving. The textiles usually contain three colors, shade of black or brown, red ochre, darker shade of orange, and ecro, the color of the undyed abaca. The blaan put high value on their textiles. For example, blankets are considered as an important part of the bride's dowry. Bagubu and Tivoli The Bagubus are a group of people that live in Davao. According to anthropologists, the name of this ethnolinguistic group comes from the word bago, new, and obo, growth. This is because they are believed to have come from the mixture of the native population with the Hindu migrants that entered Mindanao during the Sri Vijayan and Mahapahit empires. 
their traditional clothing of the Bagobo and the Tivoli. The ceremonial attire of the Bagobos are elaborated. They make these clothes from a special textile woven from abaca fibers called tinalak. Their tinalak is woven from deep brown abaca treated in the ikat, process to obtain the intricate designs. Only the women are allowed to weave this fabric. The men wear tinalak shorts and undershirt and tinalak coat. The Bagani hero warrior wear blood red clothes and a handkerchief called tangkolo. These articles of clothing represent their courage. The women were wrapped around tinalak skirts and blouses. Their blouses are adorned with floral patterns, checkers, or paisley prints. It has short belt sleeves and the waist area that falls right above the abdomen. The more elaborate blouses are made from tinalak. They also wear rows of belts around their waist and ankles that produce tinikling sounds when they walk. Tiboli this Tiboli is famous for their complicated beadwork, wonderful woven fabrics, and beautiful brass ornaments. The Tibolis regard the Tinalak as sacred. Traditional wedding rituals involve the exchange of this textile during birth. It is used as a cover. The weavers believe that their ancestors visit them in their dreams to teach them the designs and patterns that they have to weave. Men are not allowed to touch the materials used in the weaving process. The weaver is forbidden to mate with your husband, and during the time that the cloth is being woven, they believe that if they break these rules, the fiber will snap and the design will be ruined. Tinalak production is a painstaking process that requires patience, a lot of creativity, good memory, and a range of skills learned from a young age by the weavers. First, Abaca fiber is striped from the trunk, cleaned, dried, and separated into strands. These strands are then carefully selected, hand tied, and rolled into balls. The natural vegetable dyes produced by Tivoli weavers themselves are used to stain these hand spun abaca fibers. The common colors are tones of red, brown, and black. When the materials are ready, the tinalak is then woven. It is usually takes months of hard work to produce a single length of textile. The practice of making tinalak has been passed down from generation to generation for many centuries now. This textile displays the collective imagination and cultural practices of the Tivolis. Maranao Maranao means people of the lake referring to people who occupy the land surrounding Lake Lanao. They are famous for their artworks, intricate weaving, wood carving, metal craft, and their epics. Traditional Clothing of Maranao Maranaos are known for their malong. The malong is a traditional Filipino tube skirt that is made of hand-weaven or machine-made multicolored cotton cloth bearing a variety of geometric or floral designs. Malong can be used in many ways. Women wear it as a skirt, a dress, a blouse, or a gown, depending on how it's folded. It can also as a hammock, a basket, a sleeping bag, bathrobe, or a baby carriage. The malong is similar to the sarong worn by the people in Malaysia, Brunei, and Indonesia. But unlike the sarong, the malong is longer and is stitched together at both ends to make a tube. The malong is an important part of Maranao life. A newborn is wrapped in it and as he or she grows, it becomes a part of his or her daily life as clothing and as material for everyday use. When a person dies, he or she is once again wrapped in a malong. Even in areas where people wear contemporary clothing during the day, the malong is commonly used as sleepwear. A traditional dance called kapa, malong or sambisa malong, demonstrates various ways of wearing a malong and its uses. Yakan Basilan is the home to the yakans. They are popular for their skills weaving. 
They weave very intricate designs in textiles, which they use for their clothes and other accessories. Yakan hand loam fabrics are known for their use of bold colors and geometric patterns. Their traditional Yakan art of weaving originated from their hometown, Lamitan, in the island of Basilan. Yakan fabrics are traditionally used as garments. The seputangan is a square cloth used by the Yakan women as a head cover or as a belt. The bajulapi is a tight blouse with long sleeves. It is ornamented with gold, silver, or bronze buttons. The sawal is the traditional tight-fitting trousers made of yakan, fabric characterized by its vertical stripes. The pinalantupan, a type of skirt, is layered over the trousers. We are done with the traditional clothes of Mindanao. Now, let's move on to crops, body ornaments, and accessories. For the crops, Sarimanok and Okir are famous in Mindanao. Sarimanok The Sarimanok is a legendary bird of the Maranao. It comes from the word sari, meaning cloth or garment, and manok or chicken. It has become a significant symbol of Maranao art. It is depicted as a foal with colorful wings and feathered tail, holding a fish on its beak or talons. The head is profusely decorated with a scroll, leaf, and spiral motifs. It is said to be a symbol of good fortune. Okir. It refers to traditional and unique curving and consequently as to any type of design prominent among the Moro ethnolinguistic communities. The name comes from an old Malayan word which means curb or okit in Filipino. It is referred to as okir in Maranao while okil in Maguindanawan. A new pattern now known as the okir motif has evolved from the Indian stylized bird-like and naga themes and the Islamic tradition of using flowers, vines, and geometric patterns as well as local artisan styles. In terms of face makeup and body ornaments, a distinct from a visual arts of the Yakan is the facial makeup applied on brides and grooms. After applying a foundation of white powder, dots and lines are painted in various patterns on the faces, creating the effect of normal and elaborate masks which match the ornate costumes of the couple. For the accessories, the bride and groom wear different accessories. For male, peace, hand-woven headcloth worn as symbolic protection from spears or knives. Candid, 15 meters belt or sash made of gilin, red cloth. Shirts that are believed to be bulletproof with Arabic script designs prepared by imams and hajis. For female, short skirt over trousers and both of them must wear sarok hat worn to add elegance for ornaments crocodile tooth necklace for fortune triangular amulets with symbols of wrapped in black cloth anting anting against bullets snake bone belts to guard from pain manik tegillas a necklace or bracelet of beads from dried fruit seeds to protect from illness caused by evil spirits manik sembolan Necklace or bracelets made of bamboo stems cut into short pieces serve as added protection against illness and inflicted by evil spirits. Functional articles Pegupaan Bamboo container for chewing betel nut Lotuan A small bronze box with engravings carried at the waist. For the Tivoli, accessories they have what they call it Hilot and so what imimot. Hilut is a heavy breast belt worn by the woman during festivals. The nobility wear it with bracelets and anklets, furnished with ball bearings that make a sound as the wearer walks. The bells that are hung from their distinctive breasts or beaded belts signal the approach of a woman. So what imot is a wooden comb with colored glass beads hanging from it, worn toward the back of the head. T 
Tivoli are also known for their brass making example of this is the kolintang. Kolintang is a musical instrument composed of eight different sizes brass bones laid upon a wooden rock. It is the main melody instrument in a kolintang ensemble and is played by striking the nipples of the gongs with two wooden beaters. Accompanying instruments include the gadang, the two-headed cylindrical drums, as well as the dua hanagong pair consisting of the bua, a giant-sized gong, and pulakan, a narrow-shaped nav gong. Here's a wrap-up for the first episode of our lesson in Art Grade 7. We identified the different indigenous group of people from Mindanao and described their different traditional clothing, crafts, body ornaments, and accessories. Things will get even more interesting in our next episode. Stay tuned! See you in our next adventure! This is Mom Juana Jean Elkaday, your teacher in Grade 7. Bye!